Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the Senior Living Headquarters. Today we're going to be talking about uh, exit fees. Because, I'll give you a hint, yes, they do exist. But the question is why? And uh, I'll preface this with, we have a blog. This is a little more in-depth of a, uh, a topic, so if you guys want to read more, instead of getting like the surface level thing, if you want to read a little bit more to get more in-depth, um, link's going to be in the bio. And uh, on SeniorLivingHeadquarters.com, you can just look up, you, you'll be able to see uh, why, do, why does this happen. So, to answer your first question. Yes, why do? Well, if. The answer is yes. Yes, they do. Senior living uh, villages, or retirement villages, they do charge an exit fee. Why? Why do they? They do because they use it partly for a profit. Yeah. And um, they use it just for a, a, a way of revenue and if they need to cover any uh, damages. Is that about it? For that, at least for that um, section yes. is why. And now what other fees are charged? You got it. Okay, stop. so. We got to stop. You got to, I don't, you got to read it. That's why I said you got to read them. Like the answer, you got to read the answer. The answer is long. Not for this one. Yeah, it is. Read it. There are fees. Uh, charges when both entering, living, and leaving the retirement community. Though each village contract outlines its specific charges, look at some of the most common. See what I mean? Well, you could have said, like, living, or entering, living, and leaving. So when you enter one, you get Well, that's charged. not an exit fee for entering it. It's not an exit Well, no, fee. but that's in the blog. What other fees are charged? Oh, other fees. No, I'm not worried about other fees. I'm worried about the, the answer. You, We already answered that like 10 times. That's a long fucking thing. Oh, you want me to read word for word? Yeah. Oh, well, I just about... I said yes, but I just about answered But you have to guess what go into it. Okay, I can you gotta read, it. read it. All right. So what other fees is entering, exit, and living? Read it. Oh. Forget about it. Stop with the clapping. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the Senior Living Headquarters. Um, I'm Mike, Steve. So um, before we get into this, I'm just going to preface this video with the fact that this topic is indeed, it's very in-depth. So if you guys want to check out the actual blog instead of getting the surface line, baseline knowledge, um, check it out. Link's in the blog. Link's in the description. Yeah. Um SeniorLivingHeadquarters.com? Yes, or you could just go to that and then go to the blog of uh, Why Do Retirement Villages Charge Exit Fees. But, um, I guess the first question is, do they? And if you couldn't tell by the context of that question, the answer is yes, they do. Retirement Villages do, in fact, charge exit fees. And um, they also charge fees, I believe, to enter, live, and leave. That's like the enter, live, and leave. So you have to, um, you get charged for entering, then you get charged for living, then you get charged for leaving. So um, do you know why? For well, they, leaving, at least. They do that, and they, this is just a way for them to make uh, a little bit more profit, a little bit more revenue. And uh, it covers them if there's any damage at all, that they can cover themselves a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And then... Um, Purchased unit. At least, if you guys are following along in the blog, um, I'll just read the whole answer because um, there are some dependents and there are some variables, so I'll just read it. So, um, why do retirement villages charge exit fees? Exit fees are deferred management fees. Let me start that again. Exit fees are deferred management fees are charged by retirement uh, villages to either increase their profits or to offset some of the subsidized costs. Associated with nonprofit villages, such as damages, as you said, stuff yes. like that. Um, exit fees are generally based on a percentage of the sale or can be included on a non refundable portion of the deposit. If you guys want a more in depth explanation of that, again, go to the blog. I cannot push that enough. Yeah, there one is a specifically, whole, there's, there's a lot of information in here that we really can't go over in the video itself, but uh, there's a lot of information for you to see what else is. Included with the exit fees, and as, as far as living or entering also. Yeah, and then there are, um, 
it kind of it really just breaks everything down. Like I'm I'm going through it right now on this um on this iPad, and that's like fees when living are um when leaving, and then like are they regulated, and then other things when to, uh to consider. It's just like this blog specifically is really loaded. You have some video examples, so um check out the blog. I cannot push that enough, especially for this topic, just because it is so important with this one because it's hard to cover in one short video without going into detail of everything yes so without further ado hope you like it yeah i think we gotta end it check, so, check the blog out and um it's a lot of information in there a lot of resources and we'll see you later and if you're wondering why my foot hurts right now because you just dropped a knife on it yes so ah. yeah i did so, if you guys want to check out the blog, Senior Living Headquarters, the thing is off right now. I don't know when that turned off. SeniorLivingHeadquarters.com is the blog. Um, check it out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. We're not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.